hello everyone welcome to a new episode of let's play uh, pioneers the time has come for us to prove our worth in uh, th this newest installment of pioneers in which we are competing against uh, the bots in one of the strangest settlers of Catan maps I have ever seen in my entire fucking life like uh, no joking this really feels like it's a broken fucking mess of a game so i cannot build a settlement around the hill tile this uh, hill tile over here because uh, the the pi both chose that fucking tile by themselves at the beginning so right now the only thing i can do is uh, settle on this tile over here and try to head towards this mountain tile in this direction and i will also be placing like there are no ports anywhere on this map apparently so there's nothing for me to work with if you're curious this uh, map is called the uh, evil square i think so this is quite the the fucked up map i will say that much let's uh fuck me i i i I guess we will go in this direction. I don't fucking know. Let's end our turn. So we built our fucking locations. This is really fucking bull crap, I will say. This is one of the strangest maps I've ever played on Settlers of uh, Catan. There are three copies of each number across the tiles. Like there are three fives and three tens. And uh, maybe three elevens? Are there three elevens? Yes, there are three fuck. No, there are more elevens. Like there are like four elevens as far as I can count. That's fucking insane. Like there are so few resources, and uh, I guess there's one of each resource except for. Uh, Except for wool, and wool, wool is literally everywhere almost. So this is m fucked up. God fucking damn it! Like I'm not going to mean words. This is brutal. Okay, let's trade. Fuck me. I need bricks and lumber in exchange for wool. Nobody is accepting this. So yeah, I will go for. Okay, what do I not have? I do not have uh, a, a towel on a hill, so I need bricks. That's just something I cannot have. So let's go for the default 4x1 wool for brick trade. And let's end our turn. But god fucking damn it, this, this is misery. Like This is going to be one of those really nasty games that I genuinely have no idea what to fucking do. I would have liked to get to this mountain tower, but now realistically, I guess that that's just not uh, in the cards for us. Okay, so I decided to play uh, where I can place a robber because I rolled a 7. So the robber right now is on this hill tower right over here. Okay, so what do we need? I want to build a settlement between these 5, 11, and 9 uh, uh, planes tiles is this what it's called is the plain pasture tiles sorry not uh, plain tiles between this 9 5 and 11 pasture tiles so i want to place a settlement right on this corner in order to build a settlement i need lumber bricks and uh, uh, wool and grains so i have wool i have grains i do not have uh, I do not have neither lumber nor bricks, so we need one of the, the one of those two resources. By using the robber, let's see when we can get one of the, those. So, uh, who received the lumber or a brick recently? According to the log, Winston Churchill received a brick card and a lumber card. Those are exactly what I need. So Winston Churchill is the blue player. Let's target him. 
and we did not receive what we needed so let's uh, trade away let's see can we get uh, i want a brick or a lumber in exchange for grain or wools so napoleon is willing to give us a lumber for a grain which i will graciously accept now we need a brick as well but we do not have that nobody is willing to give us the brick so i will do the four by one exchange so basically four wools in exchange for one brick let's do that now let's end right now we're competing with napoleon to build a settlement over here and i will do just that so i cut off i cut him off on this path he cannot build a settlement anymore the fact that there are no ports on this fucking map is just criminal like all you have is fucking wool and you're unlikely to have any of the other resources like i i have wool uh, grains and uh, lumber because i specifically targeted those free resources but i don't have any ores and i have no bricks i couldn't get any bricks because the uh, napoleon and winston churchill just fucking stole that tower by themselves like if they would have rearranged their settlements just a tiny bit there could have been a place for another player to place his settlement on, on a corner of that uh, hill tower to also get bricks. But because they distributed uh, their settlements in such a backwards fucking way, I cannot play, I, I could not place a settlement on any of the hill tiles corners. I, I guess that was the point, to prevent other players from uh, having bricks so that they could uh, try to monopolize that fucking resource. Which is shitty. Like, on, uh, we, as you can see on this fucking forest tile, we distributed our, our settlements so that three different players can have access to the lumber. Whereas they distributed their settlements so that only do, them two can have uh, the fucking uh, 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 access to bricks. Which is shitty and selfish as fuck. But uh, whatever. <coughs> We cut off Napoleon's uh, path, which I do not regret in the fucking least. Now let's see what we can do. Uh, I want to... Let's think about this strategically. We need as many resources as we can. So uh, there are... What the fuck? Are you kidding me? There's only one... I can't believe it. There's only one settlement left to be built on this fucking game. So literally, whoever builds the next settlement is going to take up the last fucking settlement. This is such a fucked up game. Like, we do not even have the amount of settlements necessary to establish ourselves on the map. There's a scarcity in, in the number of settlements that we have available. As you can see over, over here on this orange section of the window, there's only 13 roads, 1 settlement, and 4 cities available to all of us. Which is just fucking disgusting. Whoever builds the next uh, settlement will fuck up everyone else. So let's see, can we get a brick or a, fuck me, I guess lumber from any from anyone in exchange for grains or wools? So Napoleon again is willing to give me one brick for one grain, which I will accept. And that's about it. So I will be exchanging uh, four walls for one lumber and now i can build an extra road right over here i want to build a settlement either over here or over on this corner whichever i get to build it at but i need to hurry up because if anyone builds their own settlement in the meantime i will be screwed okay so i roll the seven again so i get to move the robber somewhere else uh, I will target Napoleon because uh, he has free victory points, which is more than any other uh, bot in this game. So let's steal from him. I did not steal what I needed, so let's see if we can uh, 
fix this. I want bricks in exchange for bricks or lumber in exchange for grains or wools. Nobody's willing to do the trade with me, so that fucking sucks. Let's finish our turn for now. Okay, so somebody rolled a fucking 7 again. So now I have to discard 4 cards because I have 8 uh, resource cards in my hand. So half of them. I will discard uh, all my fucking wool because I generally don't need that many wool and one grain. Let's roll the dice. I get to place the robber once again. So let's go back here and let's steal from this guy. Okay, so nothing good or relevant for us. Let's trade again. I want um, one brick or one lumber in exchange for grains. Nobody wants that, so I will do the 4 by one exchange for just one single fucking brick. Let's finish up. I need... I need uh, more resources to be able to do what I want to do. Let's think about this strategically. Let's... Uh, so we can build a settlement over uh, on this corner or we can build it on this corner. Building it on this corner will require us to make an extra road. And uh, given the comp... There's only one settlement left. So given the competition, I'm a bit worried that... Uh, they might uh, steal it from me. So this might... Building it over here is a bit less... Worse for us because there's less chances for someone to... Actually, is anyone even in the position to build an extra settlement? Abraham Lincoln is because he might want to build an extra settlement on this side. But he only has four resource cards. I don't know if he's in the position to do that. I will wait another turn. Maybe this is a bad decision, but I genuinely want to place my last settlement in a better position than that one. So I need, uh, for that I need lumber in exchange for wool. Nobody's willing to do the trade for me, so I'll do the default 4x1. Now I have one lumber, I will construct one extra road over on this side and I will hope to get the resources necessary to build the last settlement just on this fucking corner. This is difficult, I'm worried that Abraham Lincoln will steal the last fucking settlement and build his uh, thing over here, which I genuinely do not want. So let's, is anyone willing to, to give me a break or a... Uh, Wool. No, just a brick in exchange for wool. Nobody's willing to do that with me. So right now I'm kind of screwed. You know what? Let's just get a brick this way. I have no more wool to build my settlement with. So I have to wait one extra turn. Hopefully Abraham Lincoln will not build his the last settlement over here. So he did not. We're in a good position. We got to build the last fucking settlement in the game. Now there are zero s settlements available. So now everything is entirely based on the lock of the draw. God, this fucking sucks. So uh, I rolled a 7 again. So now I have to discard 4 resources because I already have uh, 8 resources in my hand. So half of them basically. Let's discard as many wool as we can because there's... I'm not giving up on my lumber, that's for sure. So we get to place the robber. <sighs> what do I need? I need... Uh, since there are no more settlements available for any one of us. The best way to win the game now is by... Um, making cities or using development cards. I genuinely want a city, so to be get a city we need ores, like a lot of them. Let's get the ores from uh, Napoleon. We did not get a war from Napoleon, which sucks, so let's instead just uh, do it like this. Yes, I will do the 4x1 exchange for a single war. Let's move on. 
roll the dice. God fucking damn it, I rolled a 7 again. Like, I'm rolling so many 7s, this is almost ridiculous. So I'm going for a city. So I don't need a lumber. I don't need the fucking wool. Not yet, anyway. So let's remove these. So let's go for who received the fucking war recently. So three wool cards in a lumber, two green cards. Nobody received a, a war card in it recently at all, as far as I can see. So this is entirely, I don't fucking know, I'll just pick one of them. Who has more resources? Napoleon has six resource cards and Abraham Lincoln has four resource cards. So let's target Napoleon. Okay, we, we stole a wool card from Napoleon, which is definitely not what I wanted, but it is what it is. Okay, we need fucking wars to build cities, so because that's the only thing available f to us right now. So let's just um, exchange. I need wars, so let's exchange them in ex for grains or for lumber or for wool. Nobody is willing to do any trade for, uh, for us. So let's just do the default 4x1 trades, which are always available to one. So 4 grains for 1 war, I will accept that. And 4 wool for 1 war, I will also accept that. So let's uh, improve our chances. Where do we want to upgrade? Which settlement of ours do we want to upgrade into a city? Since I'm targeting to build more cities now, I will... Try to build a city around the uh, six uh, grain style, and the best place for that, I guess, is all right over here. So now we freed up a settlement, uh, one settlement building, because we converted our settlement into a city. So now a settlement is available again to all the other players to build. And but but now we, we took one city uh, uh, piece, and uh, now there's only three cities which are remain available for the other players, which is quite nice. So we have our first city. Let's see what we can do with it. Good. Let's think about this strategically. We. We need wars. That's kind of that's kind of our thing. We desperately need wars. We cannot evolve that much anymore without wars. So let's uh, let's just uh, ask anyone quite nicely for wars and wool or for lumber. Nobody wants it. Okay, so one war for one uh, grain is definitely doable. Another war for uh, four wool is definitely doable. So now we're almost in, at the point in which we can build another city if we are lucky. God damn it, they used the settler and stole one of my wars. The bastards. Okay, so this might take a ta some time for wool and for lumber. Nobody's doing it, so we, we have to do this once again. I really wish the, uh, that the robber wouldn't target me. Okay, now we have uh, war in exchange for grains, wool, or lumber. Okay, so finally Abraham Lincoln is willing to give me one war for one grain, which I will accept. And now let's upgrade this as well. So now there are two settlements which are available, but only two cities left to upgrade, which is fucking nice. Roll. And yeah, we have a shit ton of resources at this point. So this is fucking nice. Because we freed up all of these other resources, we might as well start building settlements again. So let's do that. Let, f we need a brick in exchange for grains or wool. 
So Napoleon is willing to do that to us, so let's do it. And since we're here, let's exchange uh, four grains for one brick again. So let's do it like this, and then finally like this. So we used up another settlement piece, now there's only one settlement available. What's the winning condition? We need 12 points to win, so there's there's still a lot more to be done. But, but we are making progress. Let's not mean words here, like we are making a lot of fucking progress. We have 18 fucking resources, are you kidding me? Please don't roll a seven. You fucking rolled a seven, god fucking damn it. Okay, so we are, we are uh, dropping fucking uh, nine wool back to the bank because why don't need this, this many wool. Let's target pretty much literally everyone. Let's target... Wait, did we already take something? Apparently we already took something, so it doesn't really matter that much anymore. Let's see if we can... Uh... Honestly, we're at 7 victory points, which is nice, but it's not the end of the game. Like, we haven't won the game yet, we're leading everyone, but just barely. So we need more settlements and we need them now. I want to build a settlement between these 2, 9 and 12 uh, pasture tiles right over here. So for that we will need uh, bricks and lumber in exchange for grains and wool. So Winston Churchill is willing to give me a lumber for a grain which I will accept. And let's get a brick from uh, our wool. That's fine for now, so we are still extending ourselves. Oh fuck, I'm competing against Winston Churchill with this towel, I guess. That fucking sucks. So let's get another brick or lumber from for grain and wool from anyone. Nobody's willing to do the trade with me anymore, so let's go for four wools for a brick. And also four wools for a lumber. Right over on this side, excellent. So we're almost at the point of making our another settlement. We all we need is just a, one extra resource. Yes. Yeah, I think this is it. We can make a. Uh, we can make the next. Uh, we can acquire the next brick doing the default four by one trade. And with this last brick, we will build the last settlement, just over here. So we're kind of leading the entire fucking map now. Now, there are no more settlements available, but we can still build cities. Or we can go for development cards. Whichever is easier for us. I think that this game is already won. We already have the longest road achievement. Due to this one, two, three, four, five uh, interconnected roads, I guess. And uh, we also have a lot of cities. So let's um, let's trade for war in exchange for literally ev anything that we have. Nobody wants to do it, so let's go with the default four by one, four by one again, and again. And now let's upgrade a settlement into a fucking city. There we go. 11 victory points. We're one victory point away from victory, literally. I think this is fucking won. Roll dice. Yeah, this is this is just over. We fucking won. So let's make a one final city. There's only one city remaining, so let's just use that. So I need the uh, ores in exchange for grains or wool. Or lumber, that's fine too. Nobody is willing to do it with me, so let's just uh, do the default ones. So one, uh, two, and three. And finally, with this, we win. Yep, I fucking won. So our civilization uh, managed to to beat the AI. This was really fun. Like this map was fucking horrendous and miserable to to crawl through 
but we managed to monopolize as, as many resources as we had available and the bots just stood no fucking chance. Honestly, I don't even know what the bots were doing, but they were not uh, using their resources properly. Winston Churchill had two, 12 fucking resource cards in, in, his, in his hand and he didn't do anything with them. For crying out loud. But yeah, we, we beat everyone with 12 victory points and we beat them with a huge fucking margin, which is quite nice. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. You can get in touch with me on on uh, on social media with uh, Mastodon. And uh, I also have a, a Matrix room available if you want to get in touch with me. Uh, you can find my, my addresses in the description of this video. So uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.